Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Roger Skaka Sungura YouTube channel. A big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. Um, I have diehard fans who we have been together since the 2022 general election. Now, let me say this, that uh, myself, I do not sugarcoat statements. I call a spade a spade and not the big spoon. So... As I've always announced, and I want to repeat myself, I am in opposition to stay until this rogue criminal regime, as the Barak Muluka calls it, finishes its term. Back to Kenyan politics. Kaka, there is this figure in this country called IG Kome. Those of you who remember very well, when... Uh, IG Kome was appointed. I was one of those people who raised alarm on his incompetence. But then, because William Ruto was interested in awarding loyalties, I said, let us give it time. And I remember saying in this very platform, it's about time and my analysis will be proved right or wrong. James Orengo, when he was a senator, he once told senators that remember one time, government will eat its own children. And he was referring by then the Jubilee government that was being led by Uhuru Kenyatta. So he was telling jubilants, that listen jubilants, this government you are supporting now, it will punish you more the way it will punish me in opposition. People took that statement for granted. But then, some things are revealing themselves. Those of us who have been following me, you remember how I raised Alam and protested the appointment of IG Kome. Now, today, Kome is releasing some careless sentiments. I call those sentiments careless juvenile or childish if such terms exist in our vocabularies now kenya has been hit by three major disasters which need urgent attention or intervention number one as we speak right now over 500 patients have lost their lives due to the ongoing doctor's strike. It is a tragedy and a threat to the Republic of Kenya when a government sits to see doctors strike for over one month and we begin boasting that we have a country. It's sad. Number two, as we speak right now, various parts of this country have been hit by floods. If you are a keen follower of our daily news, you are able to agree with me that several locations within Nairobi, right now as we speak, are flooded. Go back to Luonyanza. I saw a video of a woman, an octogenarian, who is trapped in church because she could not be able to access her compound, due to the heavy downpour. Disaster number three, those are the major ones. As we speak, Kenya has been greatly hit by the bandits. Some regions in this country are losing lives. People are losing their livestock. Others are losing their properties. Bandits have terrorized some parts of Isiolo, some parts of West Pokot, some parts of Baringo, some parts of Laikipia, and Isiolo. Ah, oh, I've spoken about Isiolo? Yes. Recently, a Senator Cherry Yacht, the majority, in, uh, the, the, the majority leader in the Senate, raised alarm about the competence of IG Kome towards especially solving the bandits' menace. IG Kome is a character, wakes up in the morning, dresses in police uniform, 
sits in the office just to take tea and wait who is protesting. When Cheruyot threatened that we demand for Kome's resignation, we saw Kome flashing himself out of his office. He ran to take pictures in banditry prone areas. Today, the same IG is uttering careless statements. I want to read what he said today. The medics have become a public nuisance. I want to ask Kome, with all due respect, you could be the age of my father or maybe my elder brother or I don't know, I don't know how old you are. But let me ask you this simple question, Kome. Can you stand in public with all due respect and give us an explanation why you think or how you think the medics have become a nuisance? Whatever they are demanding is a collective bargaining agreement that was entered into in 2017 by the Ministry of Health itself, by the government itself. So when you tell us medics have become a nuisance, what exactly are you talking about? Blowing whistles and the fufuzelas during demonstrations, thus causing discomfort to patients. <laughs> Come, by the way, the streets have seen doctors demonstrating. How are the police of Fuzela upper? In these streets. I want to ask you, Kome. Are you telling us that those streets is where the words are? So how are they causing discomfort to patients through blowing whistles and fuzelas? Apa kwa barabara mahali wanatembea. Ni maona wengine Bungoma, ni maona wengine Zwikisi, ni maona wengine Nairobi. In those streets, how are they causing discomfort to patients? Because I know hospitals are strategic. Atuna ma hospitali along all the streets you see here. So how are they causing discomfort to patients? Kome continues to say, they demonstrate, um, contrary to the constitution, constitutional provisions on notifying the police, all police commanders have been instructed to deal with them. <laughs> Let me tell you, come. whatever you're talking about here, during the hearing of uh, the presidential petition at the, at the Supreme Court, the Chief Justice Mother Kome referred Azimio's petition as hot air and chasing wild goose. I want to respond to Kome on behalf of all medics that Kome, you should know this. Whatever you are saying here is hot air and you are chasing wild goose. The president issued an ultimatum of 24 hours. It ended last week. How many have been fired so far? Nobody. Governor Barasa gave an ultimatum of 24 hours on Thursday. Today is on Sunday. Nobody has been fired. Nobody has gone back to work. I saw Governor Nyongo, uh, uh, Governor Nyang Nyongo, who you were Kisumu. I saw him giving an ultimatum of 24 hours or else he will fire all the doctors. How many have been fired so far? Do you know the cost of firing a doctor? Do you know the damages? Do you understand the conversations involved? So let me tell you, as I've always said, that one doctor in this country serves 400 and something patients in a day. One doctor. So doctors know them, know, they know very well, they ask us. They know very well they are not enough in this country. And in fact, you cannot threaten a doctor by firing him. Some of these doctors don't even depend on government jobs. In fact, the strike has given them ample time to run their clinics. 
some doctors are working abroad. Some are even running from this country to secret pastures. So what are you telling us, Kome? Swallow your... Kidogo tu nikutusi. I want to say this. I want to say this. Kenya Kwanza government, lower down your ego. Swallow your pride. Calm down. Sit with those medics and agree. Because whatever they are demanding is what the government signed in 2017. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.